Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's time to unbox the remainder of my Paint Gem mini set. So these are the newer ones. This mystery edition um, isn't the newest. Um, this came out a bit ago, but these two are the last of their newest collections. Now I'm going to do the mystery kit last just because. I often find when you look at a mystery from a distance, you can sometimes tell what it is. So those that don't want to see that, get to see the rest first. So we'll start with the insects edition, which has all of these insects in, which aren't going to appeal to everybody. Do we? Oh, we do have a spider. We have a tarantula. <laughs> A tarantula in there um, so there are maybe some triggers maybe not uh, to show you the toolkit you do get one of these with every one but I'll just of course show it you once but you do get a tray you also get a squishy for your pen of which you get a pen with a single placer. You also get a couple of multi-placers, in case you fancy that. You get a pair of tweezers, which can be sometimes a little bit easier for squares. And you get a pot of wax in a gorgeous little heart tub. So you get that toolkit with each and every kit. Insects. <gasps> These are the colors for insects. So we do have quite a few grays, quite a few browns and creamy colours as you'd imagine but we do also have some colour in there so we have some nice reds, yellows, some gorgeous blues and a little bit of white. Let's have a look at the actual set. I'm going to pop the box over there because I don't tend to keep the box just because I don't have the space. Oh I've got a bonus elastic band. I don't need that. Uh, so we have 35 colours in this one. I was trying to remember, it's 12 down, isn't it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, 12 down. So you get 35 colours in this set. And here are our, are our buggy bugs. So we have, oh, we're starting off with a cockroach. So we have a cockroach. Then we have the spider, uh, a scrab beetle, scarab beetle. Then we have a fire beetle. Is that an ant? An ant, it is an ant. Then we have a caterpillar. That's where some of your nicer colors come in. And on here we have a dragonfly, bit of color. Then we have and I can never find them for looking. A mosquito, feisty little things they are. Uh, then we have a bee, which of course brings in some of your gorgeous yellow as well. We have your basic household pesky fly. Uh, a ladybug, one of the pretty bugs. Then we have a deer beetle, a moth, that's actually a pretty pattern on that moth, even if they're not the prettiest things. Then we have a mantis. We have a Colorado beetle. And we have a rhinoceros beetle. So there's a few different beetles in there, um, just for a, a little bit of difference. Why not? So I'm going to pop those back in there while I'm also here. I do like to chop off the edges or chop off the outer parts of this box and then I can store them with store them all together in a plastic wallet so I've already got some labeled up so this one's already labeled up for insects and then these go in with my diamonds. I would pop my own sort of labels on there, but these have already got them. So I figured I'd just do 
that top part. So that is set number one. Then we'll have a look at the pretty mandalas. There is mandalas, mandalas. I'm sure there's a few different pronunciations in there for that one. But let's chop this down while I've got hold of it. One of those, you save time if you only pick it up once. Maybe, maybe not. Might be easier to show you the back as well. So these are just numbered one through to 12. I don't know if they actually have different styles, but the images are quite small. So let's have a look at the real thing and see how much bigger they are. Oh, look at those colors. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Let's get the box out of the way. Oh, we have got some true rainbow colours in there. We do have some black. That, is, that can really, really help the colours to pop. So you do actually get quite a lot of that. So if you're a bit against 310, <coughs> watch out because that is one beefy bag of 310. But it will really, really make all these gorgeous rainbow colours pop that are in all these pattern mandalas. So let's have a look. Oh, we have less colours. So 24, 26, 28, 30 colours. That means this one will fit into my paint gem case that they ever so kindly sent me um, with these kits this one will kit up into it. Uh, there are some of their earlier ones that will fit into this case as well, um, but I will keep this kit about and I will probably kit it up soon in a video. I did say as soon as I found one that had 30 in it, I would kit it up in this case. So Mandela wins. Um, I do also have, I, I am planning on kitting up another kit uh, in a video soon because I have another storage box empty. So if I happen to pick one that is also 30, um, then maybe I'll I'll choose which one to kit up. No, I'm kitting up Mandela. I'm going to kit up Mandela because I want to do a new one. Um, if I have one that's 30, then I'll have to hurry up and finish Mandela. Um, so here we go. So you can see this symbol X is the black. So you do have this on all of the outlines on the flowers. They're also the outlines of all the individual colours, which is why there is so many. Um, but it makes for stunning images. So I'm not going to figure out which number mandala these are. I'm just going to go through each of them. But, oh, look at those pinks and purples and reds. There's just so many different colourways and so many different patterns that can be done with mandalas. These are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous ones. Pretty, pretty. Oh, that one's nice. Looks like a flower. One looking similar to a snowflakey colours. Let's not play that game all the way through. <laughs> we could be gone for a while. So there we go. Oh, fiery. And then some greens and blues. Gorgeous set for Mandela. So I'm going to pop those back in their little wallet to keep them safe. And I'm going to pop those into my little storage bag but stay tuned that one will be getting kit up soon in my paint gem case um, because that's a 30 bottle case and it will fit the mandalas um, so last but by no means least we also I got the mystery edition when I got these uh, I didn't actually get this set when they came out um, but I did pick them up along with the rest. So you may or may not be able to tell what these images are. So it is up to you if you continue watching after. I will show you the colours and things first. Um, but they do tell you... Now they're different to the other sets. Uh, but you get three more museum 
paintings, three more national parks, three more space, two around the world and a her story. Um, but they are different to what's in the full sets. So let's have a look. Ooh, this, seem, oh, this seems like a fair chunk of colours. We do have a couple of big bags of darker colours that look like 310 and 939. We have quite a few browns, creams, but then we have some gorgeous lime greens, orange, pale blue. We've also got a couple more blues in there as well. So a little bit of a different mix of colours. I'm excited to do these because these are black and white symbols. Um, are the stickers? The stickers are actually coloured um, according to the DMC colour. So we have, so that would be 36, 46 different colours in this one. So it might not look like there is a lot of bright colours, but there's definitely a lot of different colours. So you're not going to be hitting the same colour all the time. These ones are also, I think they're all, yes, they're all more full images than partial. Uh, so you will, by full, I mean you're doing the full grid. And we have different sizes in here as well. So I'm not sure what this set is. I can sort of tell that it might be something, but it could be art. It could be some of the museum pieces. Uh, I'd say it's one of the museum pieces at a guess. I'd also think that this one is. Oh, it is one, two, three. So I'd say they are museum pieces, one, two and three. And by the looks of them, because I have done museum, they are different. Uh, so then we do have four, five and six. So these are national parks. These are a little bit harder to work out what they are, just off the symbols alone. Um, but the symbols are different according to what each diamond will be. Then we have space, which was a square set. So we have some space paintings. I can imagine some of the colour is going to end up in those. There was some amazing colour. And again, they look different. Uh, going even bigger now. So bigger than your museum size pieces. We have two around the world pieces. I think I know where that one is. But again, that could just be me guessing. Um, then we've got a second one. Not as sure on that one. Oh no, I think I do. I think I do on that one. And then last but by no means least, we have a Her Story, which is even bigger, which is why there was less in the Her Story set. Um, so we have a Her Story as well. I can figure out what some of those may be due to the symbols. Uh, not enough to get, of course, full clarity. And some of them, especially the National Park sets, are a little bit harder altogether to work out. So I still think they're going to be fun to do, especially if I mix them up before when I kit them up so that I can't see them all. You know, they're not, I don't know it's a museum and I, I probably know the space just because of the fact that they're square. But there's definitely still enough mystery in there for those to be quite fun to do. So there we go. That is the last of my three paint gem mini sets. There is quite a few different sets out there. I'm excited that one of them has 30 so that I can use my paint gem case for my paint gem minis um, because I do like the idea of having them kitted up in this case. I always have at least one, quite often two, sets of the mini sets kitted up um, and they're great if I just know I've got 45 minutes or an hour I can do a full painting and get the win. Um, or I can do just a bit of one um, and finish it off on the next sitting if I've just got a few small 
half hours. Um, they're just nice, they're compact. They don't take over everywhere else. But anyway, there we go. They are the last three sets. Um, there is a link to the Paint Gem mini sets down below. There is also a discount code for you. So don't forget to use that to help you out with the cost. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.